Hi, I'm Hoshonda Sanders and I wanted to read my children's book um, for anyone to use in any way that they would like to. I just felt inspired by seeing so many of my other colleagues and peers in the Kidlit community do that and um, just been seeing some of the news about um, all of the healthcare workers um, who have just been working so hard to keep so many of us safe, to save lives at great risk to themselves. And um, especially in the Bronx, seeing um, just the disparity in terms of how many people have been affected here. Um, so I wanted to read my work um, and feel free to share it. This is I Can Write the World. It's illustrated by Charlie Palmer um, and um, here we go. There we go. The sun lights the sky over the Bronx, bright orange and yellow. The smell of freshly baked bread in the air from the bakery up the street. The rattle of a fruit stand below. Rising up from the corner blow, honking horns, salsa, and hip-hop music. The beeping of a truck that tows. My Bronx is a world of many colors and sounds, shapes and sizes that are bright and bold. My name is Ava Murray. I am eight years old. Those are some of the Bronx bodegas right there. And that's Ava, who is the star of our show. Mornings with mommy include the news, images, and words I don't always catch. Views from the outside in, I think these are stories about my home, but how I feel and what I see don't always match. A girl about my age flashes on screen. It looks like adults are just being mean. She did something against the rules, painting pretty pictures that make plain walls sparkle like jewels. Why is she in trouble, I asked my mom, Kim. Because she made something pretty, but she didn't ask for permission, mom says. The art is called graffiti, and it is one way kids who want to create share their talents with the world. Creativity is using what you have to make a map of your dreams. What you see in your mind or feel in your heart can come out in dance, colors, or beats. When she was my age, there were no art classes at school, but black and brown kids taught themselves to move, sketch, rap, and made hip-hop culture cool. Sometimes the way the world sees us is different from how we see ourselves, Mom says. She is talking about the news and its views. See the frame around the window? It shapes everything you see below. Journalists on the news are like the window frame, Mom says. They tell the stories they think we should know. Listening to mom talk makes me imagine myself watching the Bronx from the sidewalk, talking to my neighbors, typing up the stories I find everywhere I walk. Ava is becoming a journalist. Look at her interviewing. At school, the thoughts and feelings still swirl when we are asked to write about what we love, about where we live. I remember mom's story and think, I can write the world. Can I interview you for my first story, I asked mom. Of course, Ava, I'd be honored, she says, her face lighting up like sunshine. Tell me more about the music and art you and your classmates made. At an old park, she says, this is where it all began with Grandmaster Flash and Cool Herc, 
who made new sounds from music with records and a microphone. Shout out to Cool Heart, Grandmaster Flash. Like a lot of our neighbors who are from islands like Puerto Rico or Haiti or Jamaica, when they came to the Bronx, they brought the sounds of their homeland, salsa, reggae, hip hop music has all of that in it too, along with African drum beats, dance hall, jazz, rhythm, and blues. She reminds me of the huge parties in the summer on our block with speakers so big the music makes the whole Bronx rock. Everything we make is connected to the past, mom says. It's how you make the art you love last. Let's see if you can see the beautiful artwork here. Check out the cool block party. Long ago in Egypt, the first graffiti was made of symbols called hieroglyphics. The meaning of every mark, then and now, was tailored and specific. When I tell the story of the Bronx I know and love, I share the story of art forms that traveled miles and years to get here. Some stories about our home focus on the bad, not the good, I say at the end. But what is most beautiful in our world, what makes the Bronx stand out, may not always be understood. Classroom. The book says the Bronx. What matters most is that we know we are connected to people who have always made the most of the world they were given, making visible the beauty that might otherwise be hidden. This is what journalists have always done, so I decide I will be one. To be continued. Thank you so much for sitting with me for the reading of I Can Write the World. And I hope you stay safe and well. See you again soon.